In the previous class, we have discussed about the functioning of insect nervous system. If you haven't seen that, it is better you watch that video in the description and come back to this video. So, in brief, insect central nervous system has brain at the top inside the head, connected to the ventral nervous system running along the ventral midline of the body. Basic unit of nervous system is neuron which is accumulated in the ganglia. The axon has sodium and potassium leak channels and their voltage dependent gates. At the distal end of terminal arborization, calcium channel is there which regulate vesicles in which neurotransmitters like acetylcholine is present. In between the meeting point of two neurons, there is a gap which is called as synapse where the chemical communication is made using the neurotransmitters. Acetylcholine is released in the synaptic region after getting impulse which will attach to the acetylcholine receptors in the postsynaptic region. Acetylcholine esterase breaks the acetylcholine so that the neuron can return to the resting stage when the transmission is over. This is the whole cycle how the nervous system functions. Normal functioning of these channels, synapse and the neurotransmitter is essential for insects' normal activities. Insecticides target them and modify their function leading to the death of insect. Let us see the mode of action of different insecticide groups. Let's begin with the mode of action of organophosphates. Organophosphate group of insecticides are most effective group of insecticides over the 60 years. Widely used chemicals such as acephate, chlorophyllophos, dichlorophos and monocrotophos are the examples of organophosphates. Organophosphate insecticides inhibit acetylcholine esterase enzyme. We have already discussed about acetylcholine esterase in the basics of insect nervous system. The enzyme acetylcholine esterase is important to dislodge the neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine from the postsynaptic neuron so that information transfer is continuous. As the organophosphate insecticides are inhibiting the acetylcholine esterase enzyme, it results in the accumulation of neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the synaptic junction. Yes, the acetylcholine will keep the ion channels open forever in the absence of acetylcholine esterase. The insect is killed by convulsion, salivation and laceration. Our next insecticide group is carbamates. Carbamate insecticides are derived from carbamic acid and kill insects in similar fashion as organophosphate insecticides. They are widely used in homes, gardens and agriculture. Some of the examples are carbaryl, carbofuron, carbosulfon, and propoxyl. Like the organophosphates, the mode of action of carbomate is inhibition of acetylcholine esterase enzyme, affecting nerve impulse transmission. Unlike organophosphates, the carbomates physically align with enzyme and not chemically and the enzyme could be disassociated from the carbamate if the pressure from the insecticide is relieved as they are physically aligned with the enzyme without any chemical reaction. So the reaction is reversible in case of carbamates. When we see the difference between the mode of action of organophosphates and carbamates, the phosphorylation of acetylcholine esterase enzyme at the nerve ending happens in case of organophosphates, whereas carbamylation happens in case of carbamates. Acetylcholine esterase inhibition is irreversible in case of organophosphates, whereas in case of carbamates, the acetylcholine esterase inhibition is reversible. Our next chemical group is synthetic pyrethroids. Pyrethroids are synthetic insecticides that share some similarities with natural pyrethrins, which is extraction of the flower chrysanthemum. Some of the most used synthetic pyrethroids are cypermethrin, allethrin, lambda cyclothrin, and delta methrin. Pyrethroids act as sodium channel modulators in the axon membrane. 
which disrupts the sodium channel system that maintains the electrical charge in nerve cell membranes permeability. The nerve excitation and death of the insect occurs as a result of changes in nerve membrane permeabilities to sodium and potassium ions. Organochlorine insecticides such as DDD also follows the same mode of action as the pyrethroids, acting on the sodium channels. Let us examine our next insecticide group that is neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids are a class of neuroactive insecticides chemically similar to nicotine. Imidaglobrid is the most widely used insecticide in the world which is coming under the neonicotinoid group. Other examples are acetomeprid and thiamethoxam. Compared to the organophosphate and carbamate insecticides, neonicotinoids cause less toxicity in birds and mammals than on the insect. Neonicotinoids fills up the natural acetylcholine receptors by binding with them. By this way, the neonicotinoids mimic like acetylcholine. The receptors will not be available for the normal natural acetylcholine in the body of insect. And acetylcholine esterase cannot dissolve the neonicotinoids like they do with acetylcholines. So, in the postsynaptic junction, overstimulation happens as the channels are permanently open and it cannot be closed by the degradation just like they degrade acetylcholine with the acetylcholine esterase and ultimately insect dies. Moving on to our next insecticide group that is avermectins. Avermectins are naturally occurring fermentation products produced from a soil actinomyces such as streptomyces avermitilis. Examples of some of the commercial products are abomectin, amamectin benzoate and the milbimectin. The avermectins block the transmission of electrical activity in insect nerve and muscle cells mostly by modulating insect specific chloride channels. These channels are so specific to the insect. So, it won't affect other non-targeted organisms like mammals. Chloride channels are important for the inhibition of impulses. As this channel is affected, this causes uncontrolled flow of chloride ions into the cells leading to the hyperpolarization and subsequent paralysis of the insect. Next insecticide group is our most recent diamides. The diamides are the recent insecticide classes with specific target site activity that are highly efficacious. They are effective against wide spectrum of insect species. Flubendamide and chlorotranipole are the examples of diamides. The diamides act on insect rhinodine receptors which is a class of intracellular calcium channels in various forms of excitable animal tissues like muscles and neurons. So, this diamide group of insecticides stimulates the release and depletion of intracellular calcium stores in the muscle cells, causing impaired muscle regulation, paralysis and ultimately death of the sensitive species. Knowing the mode of action of all the chemicals that are all in use is very important for us because Spraying repeatedly the chemical with the same mode of action may result in formation of resistance and the chemical will not be effective at all. So, it is always advised to rotate the chemicals with the different mode of action. Let us move on to the question part. First question is which of the following receives information? Dendrites, axon, synapses, or cell body. Why acetylcholine esterase is important? Mode of action of pyrethroids is modifying calcium channel, modifying potassium channel, modifying sodium channel or modifying the chloride channel. Voltage during the resting potential is. Question number 5 is organophosphate and carbamates acts on acetylcholine, acetylcholine esterase, acetylcholine receptors or axons. Question number 6 is 
mode of action of pyrethroids on sodium channel potassium channel acetylcholine or acetylcholine esterase neonicotinoids acts on acetylcholine esterase acetylcholine receptors sodium channel acetylcholine question number 8 is our mectins acts on modifying calcium channel modifying potassium channel modifying sodium channel or modifying chloride channel question number 9 the following chemical group is related with the calcium channels and the ryanodin receptors organophosphates carbamates nicotine or diamide question number 10 is any part of the video that is confusing for you comment your answers and the doubts below so that i can include them in the next video see you in the next class guys until then bye bye it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be in the great outdoors forever free